Some of my confidence comes from having the experience of dreaming up things like a team of women climbing Denali that seemed impossible, and then we did. So I have come to believe that if you dream something up and you really care, you can make it happen. Arlene Bloom and five women stand on the summit of Denali, the highest mountain in North America. They're the first team of women to reach the top. The air is crystal clear. The vista of snow-covered peaks is stunning. Arlene is exhilarated, but worried. One of the team, their expedition leader, barely made the summit. As they descend, the woman slumps to the ground, moaning, I can't, I'm gonna die, leave me here in peace. Then she passes out. A storm is brewing below. There wasn't time to worry, we had to do something. So we made a stretcher out of a pack frame, uh, put Grace in a sleeping bag, tied with climbing ropes, and we hauled her down as far as we could. But then it was getting dark and we were at a steep ice face, and we had to stop. And when the dawn came, Grace was a little bit stronger and we were able to get her down. That really was a big transformational moment. Arlene was raised by her mother and grandparents. They all lived together in a tiny house. The adults argued constantly. Arlene's family was so overprotective that as a teenager, she would go out in the freezing cold winter with no coat and shovel snow, anything to escape the claustrophobia. So when she began climbing mountains, being high up in a freezing blizzard was familiar to her. It felt like safety. At five feet, 10 inches tall, Arlene towered above the boys at high school dances and tried ironing her hair to get it trendily straight. But when she began climbing, those concerns fell away. Her body responded to the challenge and to the beauty. Arlene's twin passions turned out to be mountain climbing and chemistry. Both were things women weren't supposed to be good at. Well, my freshman chemistry professor was this charming, beautiful, excited young woman. She was 23 and she had a PhD from MIT in chemistry, which in the 60s was a pretty unusual thing. And she thought chemistry was the coolest subject on the planet. And so all four girls in my freshman chemistry class got doctorates in chemistry. We were, you know, we were just inspired. When people tell her not to do something, she says, yes, I will. But Arlene's extraordinary drive has painful roots. I remember I was playing with my dolls and it got super hot in the backyard, so I crawled under the porch and I was sitting there imagining I was having a tea party and then I heard words drifting down from the porch. My aunts were talking and I heard my name and they didn't know I was under the porch. And I heard them say my name and say, that child will amount to no good uh, with parents like that. And I was just devastated. You know, I was really, I was very, very upset. And then I thought, I'll show them that they're wrong. And she did. Not only was she one of the first American women to attempt Mount Everest, not only did she lead the first team of women ever to scale the mighty Annapurna in Nepal, one of the most dangerous mountains in the world. Not only did she trek across the Alps with her baby on her back, but her groundbreaking achievements as a biophysical chemist have made the world a healthier place. In 1977, Arlene helped stop the use of a harmful chemical called Tris that was added to children's pajamas. Tris was used to keep the sleepwear from catching on fire, but it was found to cause cancer in animals. Arlene co-authored a paper that helped prevent Tris from being used in children's sleepwear. I discovered that and started writing about it, talking about it, publishing papers, you know, bringing it to the attention of the world. And we have now many times been able to stop toxic chemicals by using good science, having a vision, getting a team of people working, and it feels just like being on Annapurna, but it feels way more important. Arlene, you should be famous for your brilliant battle against harmful chemicals, for proving that perceptions were wrong. Women have the skill, strength, and courage necessary to climb the highest peaks. For focusing everything you have, mind, body, spirit, soul, toward the summit of a better world.